In this session, I will introduce you to one of the most important valuation ratios. Price to earnings. Price to earnings or P-E ratio is widely used for valuing a company stock. It is calculated as company's share price divided by earnings per share. You will get current share price from the stock market. The share price is changing on daily basis and hence the P-E. Earning per share is calculated as net profit divided by number of shares issued by the company. P.E. can go up or down due to corresponding changes in the stock price or EPS. P.E. will increase if stock price continues to go up without much increase in EPS. Another way P.E. can increase if stock price stays flat and EPS is continuously going down over the years. On the other side, P.E. will decrease if stock price continues to go down without much changes in EPS. Another way P.E. can decrease if stock price stays flat and EPS is continuously going up over the years. As of now, you should remember two key observations but not necessarily those are true in all situations. High P.E. ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued. Low P.E. ratio could mean that a company's stock is undervalued. Companies that have no earnings or losing money do not have a P.E. ratio. P.E. ratio can be used to compare the performance of two companies. Let's understand with example. Suppose there are two companies. For simplicity let's assume both the companies make similar product and have similar business model. Company A is trading at 200 while company B is trading at 100. The new investor might assume that company B might be the best because it is cheaper. But this is not necessarily true. A low share price does not mean stock is undervalued. In order to understand which stock is cheaper, you must look at both the company's earning capabilities with respect to stock price. Let's get into the details and make few more assumptions. Company A has net profit of 100,000. If there are 5,000 shares issued, you can calculate EPS as net profit divided by total shares. You will get earnings per share of 20. Let's assume Company B has net profit of 50,000. If there are 10,000 shares issued, you will get earnings per share of 5. Now, it's time to calculate P.E. ratio for both the companies which is stock price divided by earnings per share. Company A is currently trading at 200 having EPS of 20. This will give you P.E. ratio of 10. This means stock is trading at 10 times its earning. On a similar line, Company B is currently trading at 100 having EPS of 5. This will give you P.E. ratio of 20. This means company B stock is trading at 20 times its earning. In this case based on P.E. ratio, company A seems to be better value. Whereas company B looks expensive. Until now, it seems that high P.E. ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued. On the other side, Low P.E. ratio could mean that a company's stock is undervalued. Please remember, this is not always the case. There are various factors that influence price to earnings ratio. For example, future growth is an important criteria while analyzing P.E. ratio. Companies might demand higher P.E. if company is expected to grow in future. On the other side, Companies that cannot grow its earnings or declining might have low P.E. and still an expensive investment. P.E. ratio can be misleading due to dependency on daily price fluctuations and surprise in earning due to temporary event. The unusually high earnings which is not sustainable can make P.E. look very cheap, but stock may not be undervalued. Low or negative earnings due to temporary economic issues can make P.E. looks very overvalued. However, stock might be buy due to future earnings to get normalized and grow further. P.E. ratio is one of the important ratios while valuing a stock. This will be covered in more details during valuation of stock. 
Thank you.